Welcome back to another breakfast time edition of uh, Eat My Shorts. Coming to you live from the rant and share, smoking me a lucky strike for dessert. As I often do when I wake up in the morning and I curse God for the very existence that I've draw breath. Eh, I try not to be negative. I try to focus on the good in life. And then life happens, and nothing good happens. So, you know, it's a process. But as I'm sitting there and trying to eat my chicken, uh, barbecued some chicken for breakfast, they don't package anything worth a damn at Walmart. So I uh, had to use chicken first, which was pretty good. You know, four and a half out of five shorts with barbecue sauce. You know, turned out all right. And as I'm sitting there eating my breakfast, Mom found. Uh, on her phone, my brother's obituary. And, you know, it just, it hit home, right? Because he was my age. He was actually the good one. He's not really my brother. He's adopted into the family. My dad uh, rescued him from his mother who abandoned his ass. So I just sit there and I'm eating, and she's reading this. This is all I can do not to fucking tear up, man. You know, they're going to have a funeral. Of course, it's going to be closed casket for obvious reasons, given the nature of his injuries and his death. Now, that man was like six foot eight and 400 and something pounds. He's like a human fucking neck muscle. He's just massive. You know, I remember one of the last times that I saw him, the last time I saw him specifically. Uh, he came over to check on me after my dad died. And then we proceeded to have one hell of a fist fight, followed by uh, cocktails and laughs. But you know, it's hard to find good people in this world that you can trust. Uh, some of you on here, you, you know what I'm talking about. And, well, waking up to face this new hell every day, you know, every second of every day, between chronic pain and mom and my sisters trying to kill me with the phone, they know it gives me an anxiety attack and they still do it, being invaded by fucking mongoloids, both in person and on the phone, I've just lost what enthusiasm I have left, I'm sure you would too. You think, oh, Joe, don't be negative. Don't be negative. I understand. I'm trying not to be negative. It's just, it's hard to be fucking cheerful when you're trapped in a body that just hurts all over. You know, when people wonder why I've lost enthusiasm for life as of late. This is, this is why. You know, I'll get it sorted out. You know, I got good friends on here and... You know, all of you have been very supportive of uh, most everything I do. And uh, together we can eat the shorts, all the world's shorts, and feed them our shorts. And feed the people that hose the troops who were responsible for my brother's death a pair of D's nuts. So, as always, as my lucky strike draws to a close and I'm in misery and pain, I'm going to go play with my balls. Not really, but, you know, metaphorically speaking. And uh, wish you all a wonderful day, and I hope you're having a better day than I am. And uh, together we will conquer the world's shorts, one lucky strike at a time. And uh, as always, have a wonderful day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.